19. back to 19, and if Richard would like to come forward. Have you, have you put through another set of yes. wording? What number are we? 19. 19. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, so um, now the, the, the recommendation that um, that Richard's put together for us is to receive the information in the Northern Transport Options Report and initiate a business case process for a future public transport study with strategic partners. Um, and um, perhaps, Richard, if you'd like to um, speak to that. Certainly. Um, we did a briefing to the ITE committee on, on future PT last week, and I guess the point that we were trying to make as staff is that um, the first thing you need to do to go through a proper process for this is, is really something akin to a, a business case. Now, we've already done some of that work a few years ago, so it's a matter of probably going back and revisiting that. And that's pretty fundamental to the success of the study or otherwise, because if we don't define the problem at the beginning, things like this tend to start off wrong and go from bad to worse. So that's, that's the starting point. And the second point that we were um, keen to emphasise is the... I guess not to focus on one particular mode. So there might be a, a number of rapid public transport options which are best for Christchurch. But if you focus on one, something like rail, it may mean that others, such as bus rapid transit, are not considered appropriately. So from our view, we prefer a mode agnostic type study, which will certainly include ra rail, but doesn't necessarily focus on it. So we go through a process, um, it doesn't focus on one particular mode, and we engage with our strategic partners as part of that. So the first step of that, if that were to be approved by Council, would simply be holding a, a problem definition workshop to reconfirm that issue early in the new year. And if the problem is still there, then we'd need some funding to do the study itself, and that would need to form part of the annual plan process. This is part of his chair's report. Part of his chair's report. Um, well, well, we we moved. We kicked him off before. All right. Yep. Okay. Yeah, come to it. Thank you. Um, I, ha I had a question too. Um, in putting together the the format of the business case, can I ask that staff um, communicate liaise with the community board so that? We have an idea of what the terms of reference are. I mean, I know what a business case is, but I'm also aware that if we dilute this too much, I appreciate your point about looking across all of the modes, but the point at the moment is that it is rail and what we've got there that we would like to be not the focus of, uh, but to have some weight, if you like. Um, I just feel that if we dilute it too much across modes to do with rail that we don't have any systems in place for at the moment, uh, that's not really going to get us anywhere fast. Um, so if, I don't know whether we can add something into that around a business case uh, with terms of reference or speaking with the community board to establish those, that would be helpful. We could be put in conjunction with the community board. Thank you. That, that, can we just work? write community boards because uh, it will affect our ward? Not surprised this report hasn't come to our board, given the impacts this on. Is a northern this is northern this lines. is the northern, the northern transport line. option. Yeah, it, to line. Central City. it has a huge impact on, there will be on our ward. Yeah, well, we'll get to that. We're just trying to deal with oh, our end of the Bill, can I just sort of make a comment and ask a question? Because, like, a, a business case for a future public transport study surely will be across the whole city. And I want to just check with the staff, too. If, in fact, we start specifying um, that, for example, rail be specially noted, um, would we not also have to include other potential forms of public transport, for example, the, 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 the bus, the rapid bus um, transport system, and we might also include uh, future technology and how Uber will also uh, potentially contribute to public transport. I just want to clarify with, really, that in, that in fact, is it, uh, is it not important to keep it broad yeah. so that in fact we cover the whole network and do it properly? Yeah. Yeah. That was certainly our intention, that it would be a, a wider public transport.
Transport Rapid Public Transport Study. So um, Rapid tra Public Transport includes things like, like rail, whether that be light rail, heavy rail, monorail, it also includes bus rapid transit, transport, so... Yeah, but pe people, people get all hooked up on this light rail and heavy rail. You can put light rail um, on, on heavy, heavy rail tracks. tracks. I mean, there's no reason why you can't think of, uh, you know, I mean, people have this assumption that, that the tracks are what's light. It's what travels on it that's light or heavy. So <laughs> I've checked with Kiwi Rail. They yeah. tell me we can use yeah. their tracks yeah. for light rail. I, th I think Phil raises a good point, though, around the, uh, the global aspect of transport, because if we signalise that actually we need to sort out the northern arterial, surely the southern arterial, which is equally as, as uh, problematic, uh, should be looked at as well at the same time. Well, then well, you put it up. We, we put ours up. This is, this is to address huge problems. It's to but transportation is a city-wide issue. Could, so could the staff can... perhaps add to that issue in terms of around what other, if we're going to specify parts of public transport, okay, what other parts, to get this right, should we start specifying? I, I think, through you, Madam Chair, I think the comments you made earlier on is that all those things need to be included within it but certainly our thoughts were that it would need to be a wider study. And you know, our preference would be that we engage with our strategic partners yeah, to do it. It'd be nuts to do it on our own. If we don't engage with NZTA from the beginning, we certainly won't get any funding, and that'd be pretty fundamental to it. You know, if you look at access to Christchurch City, it comes from both Wymac and Selwyn, yep. so that would be fundamental as well. Um, ECAN obviously run the um, PT services, so we'd need them in the room. And if we don't bring them in from the beginning, you know, the success or otherwise of this piece of work is going to be seriously diminished right from the start, yeah. and we'd end up with something which probably wouldn't be worth too much at the end, and we'd spend a lot of money doing it. So our recommendation to you would be that we, if you want us to look at future PT, we do it comprehensively, holistically, we do a decent piece of work, we start from the beginning, we engage with our strategic partners, and but more than happy to include community boards. And, and as part of that problem definition, you know, I would have thought that we would like Councillor Clearwater attends the ones that NZTA have run in relation to the state highways, we'd need to get uh, elected representatives in there helping to find the problem. Because if we don't do that, then again, that undermines the process and the outcome that might come up. Ali. This has come about because of the problems that we're facing in our ward at the moment, not only now but in the future. And, and we, in the ward, to be frank, have not seen any focus on anything outside of public transport and buses, buses only. Is so, sorry, Phil. Isn't rail part of public transport? So, what I'm wondering is, we've diluted this. I could, would like to suggest um, to you by stretching it across the city and making it into a large um, transport study. How can we make this focused on alleviating the problems in the Shirley Papanui ward related particularly to that northern entry to the city, down Cranford and what's happening with the extension on Cranford and further down? Because that is where this has come from and I feel with respect to my colleagues that it's been hijacked and if we need to bring strategic partners in, great, but how can we get the focus back on this one area, which is why this was brought up and, and suggested in the first place. Mm. Well, look, look, we're certainly not seeking to undermine any of the, the thinking around there, and, and it's, you know, without, again, wanting to jump to conclusions, one would imagine as soon as you start defining what the problems are, that would probably be one of the ones that pops out of the mix reasonably early on. So the first step would be that sort of workshop, and you look at, well, what are the issues that we're facing? We do know that there's an issue um, to the north of Christchurch, uh, we do know that there's constraints and rapid population growth you know, at the margins or at the hinterland. So that should pop out of the mix reasonably early on in the process. But you know, it hasn't previously, and that's why well, I lack a little bit of faith well, in that yeah. happening well, this well, time. I, I, I think it has, but we really haven't done this sort of work before. I mean, it's always been talked about, but the work hasn't been done. I mean, there was a lot of work done. Um, <coughs> there was a lot of work done up until, um, I think, the our draft of the Christchurch Central Recovery Plan was put together and there were a couple of options for rail there. But since that time, we haven't progressed that any further. Um, it has kind of been on our books, but uh, other stuff has got in the way. So this piece of work really needs to be picked up again and brought forward into 2016 and beyond. So 
not seeking to take away from the real issues which are, are up there, but, but you know, understanding the fact that they are genuine and they should pop out of the mix pretty early on once you define the problem. So, um, and if, if we get you know, the input from community board chairs or community or um, you know, ward councillors, then, then that should help define that and then we take it forward from there. Would it be fair to say that if this um, business case did focus on the Northern Transport option for an integrated way, that that could serve as a model for other parts of the city? Well, except that we, 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 we are a city that sits on a north-south um, route, you know, and... Um, East as well? Yeah, but it's mainly north-south um, in terms of entry and exit or bypass. You know, and in terms of, because you can't ignore, that's why I think you can't ignore um, the, 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 the state highways that, that run um, either way. You can't yeah. ignore them because they're just, they, they're absolutely connected. And of course, connecting with the, with the wharf is another issue, which is your, um, your eastern. One, yeah, Bryan Street. I, I can't actually support that Stop as it sits now. I was supportive of it before when it was investigating the Northern Rail options with a view to um, you know, alleviating some of the problems that we're seeing as one of the tools in the box that hasn't been addressed yet. But I can't support a future public transport study, which is far bigger and um, actually taking the focus away from where the problem was and where it came from in the first place. Yep. Are we debating it now then? Um, can I just make a suggestion, Madam Chair, that we, we talked about elected representatives being involved in this process, and, and that would include the community boards. Um, the, the, whole, the whole network is interconnected. Yeah, no. You can't, certainly there's, there's, pressures, there's pressures on the north, we acknowledge that. But, but it, it, it is all very inconnected, and we have to consider the, the link to Littleton and everything as well. So um, I, I, I would strongly suggest if we're going to do this, this work well, we do need to consider the whole... We're only a small city in terms of, you know, in terms of scope of size, but it's the linkages coming into the city from the Selwyns and the Waimakariris that, that are very important. So no, no one's taking away that this was the North idea. But we do also need to look across the whole city. Right. Um, look, I agree that it, we need to look at the whole of the city. And when we're talking about the long term future, you know, 40, 50 years down the track, we do need to get something that's put in place that fixes everything from Rolleston up to Rangi or Pegasus. That does need to be done. And whether that's through rail, uh, bus, whatever it needs to be, as long as it's obviously separated from vehicles so people can get into town as quickly as possible. The other thing we also need to do is look at more the, the short, medium term where we've got a problem now and we've got a solution that potentially stand, staring us right in the face, which are the heavy rail tracks. So I don't disagree that we need to get all the strategic partners together to obviously come to a, a long-term vision, but we also need to consider what we can do in the short to medium term to potentially relieve some of those pressures that are being created. Um, and with the heavy rail, that's, that's an option. I think it needs to be considered um, quite strongly when, when you have the discussion about the long-term vision. Yeah. It's about but utilising existing infrastructure as well. Yeah, yes, I know, but this was what the report was that came back to us, um, that must have been early on and after we were elected. Um, where, where, that, um, where it was shown not to be cost effective to do so on a temporary Can basis. Can we respond to that please, Leanne? Yeah, look, uh, I, I understand that, um, you know, I mean, the thing is, is that, I mean, I'd rather put this off then to a discussion um, to be held during the annual plan process because the cost of, of even considering this option and doing it alone is massive. You know, to put trains on tracks solely for passengers to run from Waimakariri into the Christchurch, into Christchurch City, um, the cost of doing that, and where do they, where do they, where do they drop passengers off? Monorail. Well, 
Yeah, but they might drop them off at Mona Vale. The, there isn't a station there. No, There's but we need to look at that. That's no, what no, we no, asked for that's in the business this, in the, case. That's the business case. Yeah, I'm sure that, that, that p the people in that area who've had that argument before will really welcome that. But where do people go when they get off the train at Merivale or Mona Vale or at Addington? So you've got to have a bus service yeah, that's, that's aligned with that. At. That's integrating the current system that's No, it's there. not integrating a current system. The current system doesn't exist. You're talking about a massive additional cost to our city that we would bear alone. And I mean, I just think that we have to be responsible about how much that is likely to cost. Because the last thing that I want to do is to raise people's expectations that this is something the city can afford to do all by itself. We can't. And um, but but I, I I know that there were some dollars of cents that were actually. Um, calculated in terms of the earlier report that was done. And I know that um, the Shirley Papanui Community Board does not have confidence in that report, but maybe what we'll do is not make a decision today, but ask you to go back and um, pull the earlier report, um, take out some of the costings, and actually bring back um, to us in the new year um, a, 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 a model for developing a business case around the use um, of, of the existing track um, uh, and, and what that would involve um, so that we can actually make a decision as to whether we want to include that in the annual plan process or not. Yeah. Um, can I just say that I think it's a pity that councillors have been really busy lately and weren't able to attend, and, and board members too, Mike was there, it was good, Work, weren't able to attend the rapid public transport workshop which we had the other day, mm. then I think there would have been a clearer understanding of how, yes, this rail part could well be and should be certainly thoroughly investigated as a significant part. But it is madness to look at any one part of a system in isolation without considering the context and considering the other parts of it. Mm. It's just a no-brainer. Mm. I think it's actually unfortunate yeah, that we're taking the line of sort of putting, uh, del oh. delaying the major part of this in the interest, say, of possibly looking at rail only. The issue is far too important for that. And the, this so business case surely would give us the direction that we need, and it would include rail, and it would include bus, and it would include new, uh, new technology. For example, apps which actually show people even where car parking in so, is so that it relieves congestion and stuff like that. Not to mention fu future opportunities for new technology um, yeah, ar around, well, Uber is one example and how we, we get that. So all these are important parts, which I really want considered. And there's no question, this is urgent. And I think it's really good the staff offered and brought forward the, the, the um, workshop the other day, and it's unfortunate we haven't got a better understanding, but I think that by asking for this, we will get a clear understanding and there'll be other parts that are worth then to do. And I'm sure the community boards, all of them, can be fully involved. Thank you. I was just looking for a way in which we could structure up a resolution given that the two ward councillors and board chair are pretty united on this, rather than getting pushed into one or the other. Is there a way in which we can put something together to... Um, well, we could... Why don't we put a Keep number three, happy. which is to um, provide advice on the um, provide uh, provide advice on the um, on the utilisation <coughs> of the um, the current um, tracks. Well, yeah. I mean, well, infrastructure you could put in place because it's because it's also it's about. Um, stations as well and all and access to and those were the things we thought this report would probably address but it hasn't. That would that would be covered by three. The thing is is that I mean you can say that the solution is staring us in the face. I know that we have looked at it before and I know that the costs are huge. So it's not just a straightforward yes we can just throw some um, tra um, trains that we don't have onto a track that we don't have access to We're without paying fees. That. No, I know, but it sounds simple. Mm. I'm just saying that it's not. So we'll just put, um, provide advice on the utilisation of the current infrastructure. Well, 
no, around, because uh, we, we want some advice on the utilisation of the current... Rail the infrastructure. Rail infrastructure, yeah. thank you. Which, which extends to the stations and other yep. things around yeah. it. Yep. Uh, sorry, I know I've had a bit of time. Can I just say one thing? I'm, I am really concerned, though, that you may go back to pull bits and pieces, particularly around costs, from that report that that does this. And I mean, I've heard and spoken to two or three people, as you have as well with us, and thank you for your time with that, who have quite clearly said that those costs were hugely inflated and they have information and um, have done research to be able to back that up. Can I ask if you do pull figures out of that, and it's a peer review of that report actually would be quite helpful, but if you pull figures out of that, can you revisit or perhaps even contact those people we've been talking to to confirm that those are correct? Mm. If there's, if there's information available, we will certainly... Great, thank you. We, we're open-minded. Yeah. Sure. We can't peer review yeah. somebody else's report, no. but, but I think that it <coughs> is reasonable to ask that, the, um, that, that additional advice be um, obtained around, around the cost. Thank you. Yep. 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 But, it, but it, you, if, you, if you come back to us on that... Yeah. All right? That's good. Okay, yeah. so right. I shall... Now, have we, did we get that moved and seconded? Pauline and Ellie. Pauline and Ellie. <laughs> Come on. No, I'll put that motion. All those in favour say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. That's carried. We have thank